I'm about to have a meeting, but I just want to quickly tell you what life's like at KPMG. Right, workout done. Time for college. Morning, everybody. Dismissal and redundancy and contract of employment go together. Originally, I was going to go to uni to do accountancy, but it made more sense to come straight here because it would cost a lot less. I'd be making money whilst I'm studying, and to become qualified, you actually have to work three years at a firm. And if I went to uni, I'd, um, I'd be three years behind where I would be. Great, do you want a cup of tea? Oh, thanks, Vicky, all the best. Is this smart enough for the client? Yeah, that's fine. Before joining KPMG, I completed a law degree. I've always wanted to be an accountant and KPMG gave me the opportunity to pursue that career. I had interviews at KPMG and another big four and KPMG just sold it to me because on the day of my interview and they were really friendly, really lovely, um, told me about the island, told me about working here and I could actually imagine myself being friends with these people and now I'm working here, I am friends with them. Having looked at lots of job opportunities in London, decided Jersey suits my outdoor lifestyle perfectly. I don't think there is an average week at KPMG. It massively depends on whether you're in college or what clients you're booked on. We're in an open plan office here where the directors and partners are accessible. I did a biology degree, so I don't have any background in accounting. So it's really nice how supportive everyone is. I've had the senior manager sit down with me for an hour and a half and explain some relatively basic concepts to me, which I just really like how everyone has time for you and help you develop. As I'm quite new and young, a lot of things can be different and challenging, but it's not as difficult as it could be. They're one of the big four, they're quite prestigious and well respected. In the future will open a lot of opportunities for me. You don't really have to travel long to get anywhere, so everywhere's quite accessible. We're going to Guernsey for a four day training course. They're going to meet their peer group in Guernsey. We're going to have a blast and they're going to grow up together at KPMG. So we're going to do an exercise over where you think you're going to go now. So the responsibility levels are going to ramp up. What's the end professional services? For? Uh, law firms. Look at this guy, team captain, leading the way. Obviously one of the best things about working in Jersey would be the beach and the weather in summer. There's lots of social activities and social occasions where you mix between the different departments, which is really nice. You get to develop like a friendship group outside the office, which I really enjoy. Just coming off the beach, getting to know the colleagues in a more relaxed environment. It's been really good fun today. The work-life balance here is great. There's a short commute and it means in the evenings I get to go for a run along the seafront. This weekend I felt like I was on holiday and I was in Jersey, so that's amazing. You definitely don't get that in the North East. <laughs> We're off to home for dinner. It's going to be about 10, 15 minutes, I hope. I'm really excited. <laughs> This isn't bad for a Tuesday night after work. We have a big labour network here and after training I hope to get the opportunity to go on secondment to South Africa or Canada. I really want to go on a secondment to either the New Zealand office or maybe Canada. New York would be a really fantastic environment. To become qualified, you have to do quite a lot of exams. And I've only been working here for a year, and I've already done six. And without KPMG paying for the courses, the many courses and the exams I've done so far, 
I probably wouldn't, or I definitely wouldn't be able to afford it on my own and I wouldn't be able to be nearly halfway there. I'm so glad I moved over here. The staff are so supportive and welcoming. There is a brilliant work-life balance. I love living in the Channel Islands and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.